in the WordPress dashboard, uh, we've added some new features to Headway 3.0. So let's take a look. The first thing that you'll note is that I started using WordPress 3.3's beta. Uh, and this is just for testing purposes with Headway 3.0, but uh, if you're feeling ambitious, feel free to use the WordPress 3.3 beta. As it is in beta, please note that uh, things may not work quite right, um, but so far from our testing, uh, it seems to be perfectly compatible. So Headway 3.0 uh, now has three sections. It's got a getting started section, uh, which gives you a big old bump uh, to go right into the uh, visual editor. Uh, gives you a link to our support forums, and it gives you a link to the documentation. Uh, the next link is to go into the visual editor, and then we've got everything under options. So the first thing that you'll notice is uh, our general tab, and in the general tab you've got your uh, favicon URL. So if you're not sure what a favicon URL is, or favicon is, uh, you can go to favicon CC uh, and draw or import an image uh, to create the favicon and then just upload it and put that uh, URL in here. Uh, then you've got some admin preferences such as the default admin page. So you can have it go to getting started, visual editor, or options. I like to actually have mine set to the options because I kind of live in here sometimes. Uh, you can also have uh, the version number be hidden from the menu. So instead of saying Headway 3.0, we could just have it say Headway. And then if you do not want to get the update notices for whatever reason, whether you're a uh, developer that might want to do updates uh, manually, um, you could disable the updates and, and just wait for us to send out uh, an email notification or, or something um, in a different way. Uh, when you've made your changes, go ahead and click Save and uh, you will have uh, your settings saved. There we go. Now, the next area is, uh, is search engine optimization. And one thing that's cool in here uh, that we did was we tried to give you um, a little bit more information, and we also gave you uh, some advanced options that you can do. So you could do some page indexing, uh, link following, uh, all that types of things. And you've also got uh, some content for some nofollow links. Uh, you can also select the various templates. So you've got, say, your blog index. You've got your posts template, your pages template, and you've got your various category archive pages and your 404 page. If you're not familiar with uh, setting up SEO, uh, uh, search engine optimization settings, uh, you can click the learn more link and that'll actually shoot you over to SEO Moz's website uh, that talks about the beginner's guide to SEO. And this is really a great place to get started if you're looking uh, to learn more about SEO. When you've made your changes, say you want uh, the title to appear as uh, site name first. And then the tagline. You could make that change. I'm going to hide our advanced options here so we get the save changes button a little easier. And we'll save it. One thing you'll also note is that instead of uh, saving our changes and sticking you back on the general tab, We've got a way to actually keep uh, the tab open now. So you can make your changes, save it, go to another template, save it, and you're always going to end up back here on the search engine optimization page. The next tab you've got is scripts and analytics. And this is really just your header scripts and your footer scripts. So if you need to add things like Google Analytics code or uh, you want to add uh, a link to uh, a CSS style sheet or you're trying to use Google Fonts, uh, you can put the, those links uh, or those uh, snippets of code in the header area. Um, and then if you would need to do anything with footer, uh, you can do that as well. One thing I want to let you know though is that uh, both of these are going to get loaded on every page. So if you have 
something you don't necessarily want on every page, uh, I wouldn't recommend putting it in here. Uh, the next section, or the next tab rather, is feed. And this allows you to put in uh, a feed burner URL or some other type of feed service URL here. And that'll actually replace that feed URL that you have uh, for, for your RSS. And then you can also exclude various categories from the feed. So if you don't want certain categories to be uh, in the feed, you want to make them come to the website to actually view that, uh, you can do something like that here. The next tab is the Affiliates tab, and this allows you to put in your affiliate link to your website. Uh, what this allows you to do is it allows you to replace the uh, link that this drag and drop WordPress theme link goes to. So instead of having it go straight to headwaythemes.com, it can actually go through your affiliate link uh, so that you can try to make some money off of uh, promoting and selling Headway. The final tab is the System Info tab, and this gives you all of the version uh, information that, that we need. So you can see here that we're running Headway version 3.0. My WordPress version is 3.3 beta 4. I've got PHP version, my SQL version, um, and some other information uh, that helps us when trying to figure out uh, what might be going on with your website. Uh, this is really it for the uh, admin area of the visual editor. So um, thanks for watching, and uh, be sure to check out our other videos.